night here at home, union employees with Davenport Public Works are asking for higher wages. Harrison Belsanti tells us why they say they need those raises and how it could impact anyone living or passing through town. I'm here today because, like many of you, I believe in the value of public service. Teamsters Local 238 held a press conference regarding Davenport's public works wages. It is possible to run a tight budget and still provide quality services without underpaying the people who are doing the work. They're responsible for things like snow removal, flood mitigation, waste removal, and street maintenance. We shouldn't have to work two jobs to provide for our families. The group met in front of Davenport City Hall just before the city council met. Workers say they're not making enough money and the public works department is understaffed. When you're paid barely enough to cover basic living expenses and you're juggling two jobs to survive, how can we expect people to give their best effort on the job? They're entering into contract negotiations with the city this winter going into next spring and say they might continue to hold press conferences like today's as they call for an adjustment in wages. Anytime that we turn on the, the water tap and flush the toilet, um, you know, that's that's not magic, right? That's actual you know hard work that our members are doing here in the city of Davenport. Workers argue that a wage increase will make Davenport Public Works a sought-after place of employment, leading to improved services for the community. The current contract ends June 30th of next year. Teamsters members are also asking the Davenport City Council to take part in new contract negotiations. Yes, and it means the voices of the residents of Davenport aren't represented at the bargaining table, and we think they should be. And Harrison joins us now. Harrison, where does Davenport rank compared to other cities in Iowa when it comes to public work wages? Yeah, John, Davenport ranks on average fourth high highest in Iowa for public works wages. Now, according to the jobs website ZipRecruiter, Sioux City leads with an average of more than $25 an hour. Des Moines, Ames, and Davenport follow with an average wage of more than $24 an hour. The new contract being negotiated between the city of Davenport and Teamsters Local 238 would give workers a market adjustment in their wages for the first year on the job and raises in subsequent years. We reached out to the city of Davenport for comment earlier. But we're still waiting back on their statement. John. All right, Harrison, thank you.